have you ever noticed how Megan holds Harry's hand? This is not just a light romantic touch. She holds him tight with both her hands. People even gave it a name, the Markle Claw. But what is the real meaning of such a grip? Does it show dominance or insecurity? Well, kind of both. But let's dig a bit deeper. If you have followed Megan for some time, you can also spot some very awkward moments. Like this, when she wouldn't let go of Harry's hand, even though he clearly wants to go in another direction. This shows a lot of insecurity on her part. She doesn't want to let go of Harry even for a minute, as if he's going to run away. But at the same time, here's what Megan does when Harry speaks without permission. First, Megan looks very tense. Just look at those neck muscles. But also, when she looks away, maybe trying to cool down, look how she presses her lips together. There's a handful of ways that someone can press their lips, but all of them signal frustration to some degree. And this is followed by the infamous jaw clench, the one Megan does when she's feeling intense emotions. And of course, multiple blinking. In this case, Megan blinks 29 times over 17 seconds. That is an average of almost twice every second. Really high and absolutely in sync with the fact of being upset, nervous, or trying to conceal a strong emotion such as anger. But what can we say about her behavior with Harry if this is exactly how she treats her own mother? Look at this cold stare she gave Doria when she dared to interrupt Megan. All of it just confirms her dominance. She basically trains people to behave how she wants. Because when something happens a dozen times, you begin to associate the gesture with an action. And it makes sense that Megan knows about this because that's something that you need to know in acting. You need to be able to trigger a reaction, a response, an emotion on command. And Megan's grip also conveys a command. It doesn't allow Harry to freely go where he wants. If we were to analyze them as a regular couple, this behavior may have been appropriate. When you are in love, you want to show it. But being a royal couple is different. Most of the time when we see Meghan and Harry in public, they are in duty mode. And clinging to each other that much looks unprofessional. Moreover, holding hands like this severely limits movement. Try putting both your hands to the side and walk like this. It's just not very comfortable. Now, let's go back a little. Here's Meghan and Harry's first public appearance ever. First of all, there's no Markle Claw yet. You see how they hold hands here? Harry's thumb is all over Meghan's fingers. That is a sign of protection and dominance. Literally, whoever has the thumb over their holding hands is the one showing dominance and protection. Fast forward a couple of months later, it's vice versa. Fast forward a bit more, and Meghan holds Harry with both hands, also limiting Harry's movement. It is a clear sign of dominance. Now, it's a woman patronizing a man. And this is a sign that Harry still needs a mother figure. But here's an even more interesting thing. Meghan triggers Harry's response by repeating the same action many times. For example, she touches his hand to silence him. So nobody tells you anything? No. Nobody prepares you? No, no I mean, no, but even down, yeah, sorry, but even down to like the national anthem. Look how uncomfortable Harry looks. Like he's a child who just interrupted his mother and feels a bit embarrassed. Also, Harry never got to finish that sentence. Opinion on Meghan's behavior differ. Some think it's just a display of affection, but others think it's needy and toxic. It is, in fact, a little bit of both. She needs Harry and can't let go of him. And she is also dominant in their relationship. But is it good or bad? Only Meghan and Harry can decide. As long as both of them are comfortable, does it really matter who is the dominant one? But what do you think about this? Does Harry seem happy in this relationship? Let us know what you think, and stay tuned for more Royal Bombshells!